Well, howdy there, ladies and gentlemen. It's another beautiful day out here on the California coast. There's cattle and horses out in the pasture, and uh, you know, we couldn't ask for a better temperature out today, so I figure we're gonna go, um, we're gonna go grab uh, one of these guys over here that are uh, grazing right back there, and uh, we'll put a ride on him and see how he does, see how he's coming along, and I'll tell you a little bit about him. Give you guys a little chance to take a look at this guy, a better look. Ah, there's a little horse language going on for you. So Rusty's smelling his leg, and Rosie doesn't like that too much. You watch the ears, they happen at the same time now as the heel. So there's his ears, there's the warning. Oh, and he did something else. Huh. Oh, he got distracted by the cows. See him walking out back there. But, um, yeah, so there's a little horse language for you in addition to getting a look at this guy a little bit better. And uh, I may go put my boots on and grab a bridle for him, and we'll go do a little bit of work and see how that goes. Oh, let's see, are they gonna talk anymore? Not really. You see, I got the blocker tie ring up there just to preserve my trailer D-rings there, um, or whatever you call those things. I don't want a horse ripping them off, so I just always tie them up with the blocker tie ring. I feel like it's really convenient. So I guess I'll describe a little bit of backstory about this guy as we're riding along here. Um, he was, uh, he's owned by a lady who boards out here at the same property that I do. And, um, you know, I guess he had a, a hard kind of upbringing, but now he's living a pretty happy life out in pasture and enjoying all that life has to offer. But uh, yeah, he just doesn't have a very good stop or very good turns. Or, you know, at least he, he didn't before we started, and we're hoping to make that better. Um, so, and we'll see once we get down to the arena what kind of improvements we can make with this guy. So, yeah, I mean, he's, you know, getting real good about, I guess he would want to stop and watch the cars before, but he's gotten really good about just sort of making his way on through now. We're getting close to the arena here. And, um... <clears throat> I guess I should also say that I've only been riding him in a snaffle bit. Uh, just that's sort of how my method works is I like to gain lateral control before I gain vertical control and I think I get a better response that way. Ooh, buddy. There you go. And, um, but yeah, so let's head on in the arena and see what uh, what's what. Okay, inside the arena now. Pretty cool. Um, you know, we're just kind of giving this guy a go, um, letting him walk around on a loose rein right now, just getting relaxed with everything. And I suppose I should say that even though, yeah, I have ridden him about 12 times, 10 or 12 times, somewhere in that range, it's been over the course of about a month and a half. So about twice a week is uh, where he's been getting his riding. So. Um, you know, when you ride at a slower rate like that, he t you know, actually a horse like this benefits from it because he takes a long time to think about things. But, um, you know, some horses, they need a lot more consistent work than that. And, you know, it all depends on what you're looking to do. But um, anyway, so yeah, I just figured I'd explain where he's at right now. He's at about step number six in the 14 fundamentals. Uh, close to halfway through and uh, we'll find a fence post or something and show you a little bit about what he's been learning you know we sort of had to work on this guy really on all fronts um, to get him to get him coming along the way that I was looking for him um, you know cuz he's like any old horse any old trail horse he can kind of turn and he can kind of back up a little and he can kind of you know trot out and stuff like that but you know he's not the most talented in the world and uh, 
He's uh, certainly got a long way to go, and he's pretty stiff, as stiff as a board, really. Um, you know, he does that sort of giraffe neck, stick the head in the air kind of a thing, um, like a lot of horses do. In fact, most horses, that's their first instinct, is to stick their head up in the air. See, naturally, he's, he's actually holding his head kind of braced in the air because of years and years of trying to pull back and fight on you and stuff. Um, you know, in fact, I think I have a little clip of him doing that uh, just before we started shooting. And he was just kind of, you know, if you go to pick up on both reins, there, you see how he started giving in the pole? That's what we're really start trying to, to look for here. What we've done with him so far is getting him soft laterally. Um, you know, really, if I take the slack out of this rein, I want with little or no pressure for him to look that direction. Can you see how he's still holding his head and his neck up in the air? We'll solve that in just a sec. He's decided to stand here a little bracy right now. But check the right side. Can I bend his ne head and neck? Can his feet stay still? Pretty good. So then I want to check that I can bend his head and neck, slide my leg back, and ask his hip to step over. And you see how that first step he took right there was actually, oh there, that was nicer. That first step he took, he tried to dive his shoulder in. So we just picked him up, stood his hip back up. Let's check this right side. Bend, slide my leg back, look for the hip. Pretty good. So then I'll relax my leg. One more step here. Relax my leg, let the energy die down, let him leave slack in the rain, toss him back to him. Third step, we, you know, kind of went through that. We asked him to walk forward, and he went off on a, he went off our legs pretty nicely. Um, right here, you see how he got stiff before he loosened up and backed up? So that's a big part of what we're working on now is the transition. Um, so uh, when, you know, we've gotten him steering, we've gotten him soft laterally, oh, stiff, better. Um, we've gotten, you know, we're, we've gotten quite a bit done with him, but, uh, but there's a couple more things to work on, obviously. <laughs> there you go, big mess. So um, the first thing, or really the thing that we're gonna work on with him today, because what we, what our request, so what we're looking to get out of this guy is for him to be able to stop um, when we when we ask him for it. Be that off the rein, off our leg, off our seat, um, off the word whoa. So what we're looking for first is uh, that softness laterally. That way we know we can tip his nose to the right. Ooh, he's almost thinking about backing up off of that. That's okay, but I'm only pulling on one rein, so I'm going to say, no, that wasn't it. We're gonna throw the game board over, ask him to bend, because we're looking for softness laterally first. There we go, take my leg off, wait for him to settle. And you see how he kind of spills around a little bit extra, he, kinda, he gets kind of stiff with his head and his neck. You know, that's just kind of years and years of the habit of getting stiff and moving your feet, but not softening through your body and not having that be fixed. So see here even, he's kind of, he's, he's bending for me, but he's not putting the slack back in the rain. There. Yeah, he's softening up there. So let me slide my leg back and see, can he stay soft and move that hip away? Oh, that was better than normal. Good boy. Okay. Once you can get those things, because what you're teaching them is your legs mean soften and engage, your hands mean soften, and then eventually stop your feet. There you go. We want to make sure he's completely in control at the standstill here, that he's able to, um, you know, stand without us pulling back on his reins. See, there's a nice big slack in there. So then we're going to see, because the first thing we wanted to be, do to be able to get our horse to stop from whoa or from off our seat is we want our horse to be able to soften and back up. So we got him soft to the left and the right. What is a backup but turning to the left and the right at the same time? So we wrap our pinky, our fingers around these reins and you see how he stiffened up there? That's okay, I'm just gonna kinda leave the slack out. Ooh. And if he drops in his neck and softens his pole, 
I'm gonna try and release to them there. That'd be our first step in teaching our horses to back up is how to get soft vertically. Take a little feel, yeah. And you see how he gets pretty soft there pretty quick. And he even starts to think about rocking back. So that's the next step is, we'll close our fingers on the reins, wait for him to get soft, and then just keep holding until he takes a step or two back. That was kinda there, that's a better step back. Okay, we'll walk him out again. We'll see if we can stop him from a walk. Close my fingers. Yeah, that's getting better. He's not sticking his head and his neck up in the air and trying to blow through my hand. That's really, that's the goal here. It looks real simple and real boring. And if it, is, if it does look that way, then it's usually good horse training. But you just close your fingers, let them get soft, and wait for them to back off your hands. Moment they do that, toss the slack back to in the reins, and give that buddy a reward. Give that buddy a rub. Good boy. Then go back and check: Are you soft to the left? Pretty soft. Still not quite giving us the full neck there, but let's bend again then. Toss him back. Bend one more time on the same. Aha! Found a little bit of stiffness and wanting to move out there. Check the right side. Hmm. There's better. There. So you see he's not perfect at this. And it's because he's really only had, you know, two days a week of, of riding, learning these kind of fundamentals. We'll close our fingers, look for our backup. There, very nice. Next step after that is see if you can walk off. Close your fingers around those reins and look for your backup. He's getting that, the idea of that. Couple, couple more rides of that and we'll do a trot to a backup and then a canter to a backup. Um, you know, and that's how you teach your stop and you just say, whoa, beforehand. So you know a lot of people have a uh, problem getting their horses to stop straight and back up. And uh, so that really the way to teach that is if you can get your horse to turn to the left and the right at the same time and stay soft, then you can get them to back up. Oh, it feels so good to be done, huh, Rosie? Walk on down the road nice and easy like. Here they come, some excited doggies. <laughs> hey, Bobo. -bo. Hey, Buck. Easy there, horsey. Good boy, Buck. Good boy. Is that what you think, dude? Yeah. Watch out.